lovers, it is G Swiss here and I'm here today to introduce my birthday slash pre-Christmas book haul. The video you're just about to see was filmed a month and a half ago. Just let that sink in. So if I'm gonna say anything that's not relevant to this point in time, like for example, review to come, or this is our Biblio Squad book pick of the month for November, it's because it was filmed a couple of months ago. This is what you get when you're not in the best mental state in November. You cannot be bothered to edit any of your videos, especially because they're so long. The reason why I have to reintroduce this video is because I've had to take half the video out of this video because the original video is going to be a Funko Pop slash merch slash whatever I got for my birthday, and then also books. But since then, I. I thought it was a better idea to split those videos in half because the footage went for too long and it was just too long of a video. So without further ado, let's roll the video. I will be starting off the comic books because I have a severe lack of them this time. Last time I think I hauled like 13 or something like that. This time I've only got three to haul. So I got this Thor Generations single volume comic and this edition was exclusive to this box. I haven't read it yet. As I can see, it includes both Thors and it also includes Deadpool. I'm pretty ecstatic to read this one, I'm not even going to lie. This is an exclusive edition and it it definitely did make the $55 ticket worth it. I'm so happy I went to that advanced screening. It was such an experience. Seriously, the 25th of October, 2017, one of the best nights of my life. The final two comic books that I have today were Silk Volumes 2, which is the negative, and Volume 3, which is the clone conspiracy. If you guys don't know, I read Volume 0 of Silk, like, I think last month, and I adored it. I loved it so much that I've just decided to purchase the rest of the series. So I purchased the rest of the series, and I'm so excited to binge read it and probably read them in 2018. As you can see, there's a Marvel collection happening right there. They all need to be read. Now that I've gone past the comics, I think I will talk about the books that were sent to me by publishers. So the first three books that I have been sent were sent by Bloomsbury Australia. Thank you so much, Bloomsbury Australia. And they were all unsolicited. I didn't request any of these, but I got them for free, so I'm happy. So the first one I got, I actually received this week, and that was Refugee Boy by Benjamin Zephaniah. And by the looks of it, this seems like a middle grade fiction with a refugee family. His father is Ethiopian and his mother is Eritrean. Seriously, I do not know how to pronounce that. I'm so sorry if I butchered it. This seems like a very important diverse read, especially in the times that we're living in right now where like refugees are looked down upon, especially in Australia. So I'm really excited to pick this one up. So thank you so much Bloomsbury for giving this to me. And the next two books I received in the same package and those are The Start of Me and You by Emery Lord and Otherworld by Jason Siegel and Kristen Miller. If you guys don't know this Jason Siegel, it's How I Met Your Mother, Jason Siegel. What on earth? So I've seen that he's written like a couple other books. I think there was like the Book of Nightmares or something like that. And I didn't even know that that was the same Jason Siegel. And then when I looked at the back of this, I realized that Jason Siegel writes and that's really cool. I barely know anything about this, but I know that it is kind of a sci-fi or dystopian, not too sure. Those are kind of my buzzwords. So I'm pretty satisfied, and I'm probably going to pick this one up. And then we've got The Start of Me and You, which is a book that's being talked about a lot in the US, and so I've decided that I'm pretty excited to read this. I've never read an Emory Lord book. I do have an advanced reader copy of the names they gave us. A couple people I know say that this is like one of their favorite contemporaries ever, so I'm really excited to pick it up, and it has a gorgeous cover, so Bloomsbury, you're the best. Thank you. Next couple of books I'm gonna show you were from Hashed Australia, so thank you so much, Hashed Australia in advance before I even show any of these because I'm just really excited. So the first book I have here is The Taste of Blue Light by Lydia Ruffles. This one was sent to me unsolicited. To be honest, I keep on forgetting the synopsis of this. Like, we were literally told this a couple of days ago at the Data Book Blogger Night. And I know that you guys can't feel this cover, but this cover has two different textures. So this texture, it seems very shiny, and this texture is so papery. It's so weird. I've never experienced a book with two textures like this before. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to have this one in my collection. I'm not gonna lie. The first of the two books that I was sent for review by them it's Mirror Mirror by Cara Delevingne and Rowan Coleman. I've already posted a spoiler-free review for this book, so if you want to go check that out, it's in the description. I did really enjoy this one, and I'm so thankful that they sent this to me. This was the first book that they sent to me for review, and so I'm so happy that I've made the connection with you, data book. And the most recent book that they've sent to me for review is Here We Are Now by Jasmine Warga. I am currently 75 pages into this book, and it's reminding me why I adore contemporary. This book is so good so far, and I cannot wait to review this. The next book I received this month was a book that I was sent unsolicited by Penguin Team. Australia. I'm so thankful they sent it to me. However, I'm not sure if I'm gonna read it, to be honest. And I'm, I'm just gonna show you the book and you'll see why. The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman. Okay, so this book looks amazing. It is aesthetically pleasing. I'm so happy that I get to look at this book and admire it because this book cover is gorgeous. However, I've never read the Golden Compass slash Northern Lights series. And I don't know whether I have intentions on doing that because I'm kind of not 
interested, people are going to kill me. Oh my goodness. But regardless, I'm still thankful that I received this from Penguin Teen Australia. I'm so thankful that they thought about me. But I I don't know whether I'm going to read this book or not. But it's still cool to keep in my collection just in case I do change my mind about the series. But yes, I'm still pretty blessed. And the last book I had received from a publisher was from Walker Books Australia. And they sent me the 10th anniversary edition of City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Now I understand that the UK edition slash Australian edition does not have Gilded Gold pages. And I'm pretty sad about that. But hey, I got sent it for free. So I'm happy. Seriously, that's not even the only joy about it. There's art. I'm so blessed to have received this book. Even though City of Bones is literally my least favorite book by Cassandra Clare, I'm still so thankful that I had received this and I'm probably going to try and attempt to do a review. Speaking of special collectors editions of books, I recently added another two to my collection. So the first one I'll be talking about is the Red Queen Collectors Edition by Victoria Agard. As you can see, this is the US one. I didn't buy the UK one. I'm tempted to buy the UK one because it looks cool, but it doesn't have that many features. The UK one has a different cover. It doesn't have a dust jacketed cover, but it kind of has this binding instead. Not only that, the UK one does not have red pages. And I'm happy that this one has red pages because it also matches what's underneath the book. And look at that. I'm really happy that I have lighting because I can show you what is underneath. It's not the easiest thing to see. And not only that, the US edition actually has really cool illustrations inside. It is so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it's also got some Scarlet Guard files, which is pretty much similar to the City of Bones book. And at the back it says, Power is a Dangerous Game, and it just looks so pretty. I love it. The final collector's edition that I have for this haul today would be the Darker Shade of Magic collector's edition. I am in love. First of all, underneath, it says as Travars. I need to get the UK exclusive collector's edition because it has Kel on the actual cover. It's really cool. And in here there's fan art. It's so beautiful. And I think at the end there's also bonus content. This was definitely worth adding into my collection. Oh yeah, there's also a built-in bookmark as well. I love this book so much. So I received a gift card for my birthday, and so I decided to buy Every Heart of Doorway by Shannon and McGuire and The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. They're both US hardbacks and they look stunning. These two books are so hyped on booktube, and I'm just I'm so happy that I'm finally buying them and I'm probably gonna give into the hype. If anything, I'm just over the moon. The next book I have to show you in my haul today will be Bad Romance by Heather Demetrios. If you guys don't know, this is pretty much a book about an abusive relationship. Ever since I read The Build Up Season, I've been so interested in reading books that deal with abusive relationships as an actual topic, not something that is just played around with, something that is romanticized, but no, it's like anti-romanticized. So no, I didn't just buy this cover because it is gorgeous, because it is gorgeous. I bought it because the subject matter, and I feel like they need to talk about this more in young adult fiction. At a young age, I think it it is very important to talk about these things so you know the warning signs of what's good and what's bad in a relationship. The next book I got in this haul was Keep the Aspidistra Flying by George Orwell. I have wanted this book for so long and I've tried to find this edition specifically because Ariel Bissette has this edition. She keeps on raving about it and how gorgeous it is and it's also a cheaper edition but every other edition I've seen is like $25 in bookstores and I couldn't find this specific edition and so I went on the book depository and I got it for like 10 bucks. I decided to take advantage of it. This is kind of like 1984 but it has to deal with more money. I'm really excited to read this because I love George Orwell and I want to read more by George Orwell. The next book I have in this haul is also a little one and that is Almost Midnight by Rainbow Rowell. If you guys don't know, there are two short stories in here. I mostly bought this for Kindred Spirits, which is a story written about a couple of kids going to the advanced reading of a Star Wars movie. And the other story in here is from the My True Love Gave to Me anthology and so I decided to pick this up anyway. I don't really have interest in reading that anthology because it's summer when it's Christmas time here so it like feels very weird. Seriously, it's been two years since Kindred Spirits dropped and we were trying to figure out how to buy it. And we finally have this little anthology. I'm really happy that I finally have Kindred Spirits so I can finally read it and also read the other short story that Rainbow Rowell has. The next book I have to show you is a sci-fi book and it is known as Zero Repeat Forever by G.S. Prendergast. Apparently this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling but apocalyptic style, which is really cool. And it says perfect for the fans of the fifth wave and I am number four. I'm getting fifth wave vibes from this cover. I have to admit, I mostly bought this because of the cover, not because of like the scenery on the cover, but because the colors on the cover. They're stunning. And I heard it was a Beauty and the Beast retelling, and I'm like, you know what? I love Beauty and the Beast. So, like, sign me up. The next book I'm gonna be hauling today will be Who's Afraid 2 by Maria Lewis. If you guys don't know, this is the second book in the Tommy Grayson series. It's gonna be a five book series, and the reason why I bought this, like, as soon as I possibly could, is because the tall paperbacks are going out of print, and the first book I have in the series is a tall paperback, and so I wanna keep that going. I don't wanna have to wait till the short paperback comes out, or else I'm gonna have to read them late. And also, it was signed, which is really cool. Yeah, I'm really excited to get to this one, and I'm wondering when the third Who's Afraid book is coming out. I honestly don't know. Like, it's, it doesn't even say on Goodreads. I just, I need to know. 
next book in this haul will be The Rise of the Isle of the Lost, which is a Descendants novel. This is the third Descendants novel and is written by Melissa Dela Cruz. So I bought this pretty much because I want to finish off this series. Yeah, there's not really another reason. I just want to kind of finish off the series. And also because Descendants 2 wasn't bad. I mean, the first one was kind of cringeworthy. The second one wasn't bad, in my opinion. I think that they really did improve in the second one. Next, I have a couple of poetry collections. So the first one I have is The Sun and Her Flowers by Rupi Kaur. I wasn't even intending to buy it on the day that it came out. But I happened to be in the bookstore the day it came out. So I was like, you know what? I'm buying it. The next poetry collection I have, There Are More Beautiful Things Than Beyonce by Morgan Parker. I really love this cover so much. I've heard nothing but great things about this poetry collection and also Beyonce. And the last poetry collection I have here is Neon Soul by Alexandra L. I don't know where I heard about this poetry collection, but somebody recommended it and I've been keeping my eye on it and I finally bought it when I had the money. But yeah, I've just been collecting some modern poetry recently and I am really excited to get to these because I had read The Princess Saves Herself in this one and Milk and Honey and I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna read more modern poetry because modern poetry is actually a gem. It's really cool. The next book I have in this haul would be Murder on the Orient Express by Agatha Christie. If you guys don't know, I went to see this movie yesterday and I'm so happy you went to see it. It was actually a really good movie. So I decided to read the book beforehand and I did enjoy the book. I mean, it's not something I'm usually into. I'm not the biggest fan of murder mysteries, but I really did enjoy this one. If you're wondering if Johnny Depp plays a big part in it, he actually kind of does it. So if you're hesitant to go into the movie because you don't like Johnny Depp, don't be. It's actually a pretty good movie. I'm actually hoping that the director gets to direct more of these movies in the future. The next book I got in this haul was Renegades by Marissa Meyer. This was a pre-order and I received it and I read it and I loved it. If you guys don't know, this is a Bibliosquad book page of the month for November. I'm talking really fast. Yeah. I have like one more stack of books to go and then I have stuff to show you guys from the Data Book Blogger Night. So I'm gonna quickly rush for these. So before the Data Book Blogger Night, I bought these titles because I was meeting these authors. So first of all, Nevermore by Jessica Townsend. Actually, no, I bought this way before the Data Book Blogger Night, but she was at the Data Book Blogger Night. But she signed it on her book launch. So technically I didn't meet her at the Data Book Blogger Night. I met her at her book launch. And so she signed it to me and it says, to Grace, step bold. And if you were wondering, I met Cass Morgan, who is the author of The Hundred. And no, she's not the writer of the TV series, but she is the writer of the books. And so I decided I'm probably going to pick up these books because I'm meeting her. So I decided to buy this first book. I told myself I don't think I'd ever read this book series, but now that I don't even watch The Hundred anymore, I might just pick up this book series. She wrote, For Grace, it was such a pleasure meeting you, XOXO. And finally, I met Victoria Carlos, and she signed in my book, Dear Grace, thank you so much for... I don't even know what that says. Oh, support. That's what it says. It says, Dear Grace, thank you so much for your support. Lots of love and it was signed by her. So yeah, I got these ones and I was so happy to meet these authors and go to the Data Book Blogger Night. And before I show you what I got on the Blogger Night, I'm going to quickly show you what I got for the Dimmix VIP Night. So I got this deck of books on the 20% off VIP Night at Dimmix. So first of all, I got The End of Oz, which is the last book in the Dorothy Must Die series. I told myself I wasn't going to buy these books at full price just in case they were still supporting James Frey. Apparently she's left that publishing division. So I think I don't have to worry, but just in case. This one didn't go on sale, funnily enough. And the international paperback was going out of print so I needed to buy the last one and it was the 20% off night so I just decided to buy it for 20% off. Next I have Autoboyography by Christina Lauren. This was cheap for a hardback. It was $19.99 for a hardback plus the 20% off on top of that so that was really cool. I have the first three books in the Expanse series. All of a sudden I have an interest in the series which is really funny. I really want to watch the TV show but before I watch the TV show I at least want to start the series because I don't want to have to go into the TV show and not have read them. I don't want to regret not reading them before I watch the TV show. The TV show looks cool and the final two books I got was Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Menescalco and Hunted by Megan Spooner. So I got this one because everyone's been recommending it to me and I've been so hesitant to pick it up for the longest time and I just finally decided to cave in. I'm so happy I bought this book. And then with Hunted by Megan Spooner, Megan Spooner is coming to Australia. I'm so excited because we finally get to see Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner in the same room, which is really cool. So I bought this so she could sign it and also because I want to read it. And finally, I'll show you the stuff that I got at the Data Book Blogger Night. First of all, I will start off with the goodie bag that they gave everyone. So first of all, we got Mirror Mirror Toast. So in here we've got goodies like mascara, cakes in a cup, data book sock, moxie pins. I don't even have moxie, but I'm really happy I have these pins. Matte lipstick, a Nevermore bookmark, hairspray. I think there was also some hair conditioner in here, but I put that in my bathroom straight away. Oh my goodness. Oh, this was really exciting. I got some Strange the Dreamer memorabilia. So I have Fire and Nero, who I literally don't give a crap about. But I've also got Laszlo Strange. I'm so happy I have Laszlo Strange, guys. A data book bookmark. I've already got one of these, but like you can never have enough bookmarks. I got a Strange the Dreamer temporary tattoo. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy I have this, man. I mean, I don't know if I'm ever gonna use it. I just, 
I just really love it. I, I don't want to use it because I don't want to destroy it. And finally in the goodie bag, I got a proof of the Beast Heart. This is one of my most anticipated releases of 2018 and it is written by somebody in Australia. The actual cover is gorgeous, but the proof copy is just as gorgeous. I just, I, I don't, I can't decide which one I love better. And finally, to close this whole off, I had won a data book Twitter competition. So on the night of the YA Book Bloggers Night, I had tweeted a lot. And because I had tweeted a lot, they gave me a prize pack. So I never usually tweet at book events, but I did this time. Guys, I'm so happy I won this prize pack because it has everything I've ever wanted. So first of all, I have this tote bag. It says no mourners, no funerals. And on the back, it says Crooked Kingdom. I'm just, I'm so happy I have this tote bag. Ah! I also have Language of Foreign's inspired candle. It says the Two Clever Fox and it is mulled wine. It's actually a very interesting scent. It kind of like smells a bit like cinnamon and other sweet stuff. But yes, it is very beautiful. Very beautiful sparkly candle. I also have another Fyron Nero sticker, but I really want Sarai and I really want, I actually no, I don't know if I want Mina. But yes, I just really want Sarai so that I can keep her next to Laszlo because they are meant to be. I also have a Language of Foreign's inspired pin, which is so cute. And also I have iron gold pins, which are gorgeous, please guys. Those people that are hunting iron gold stuff, please don't kill me. And finally, the two books that were in the goodie bag for me winning the Twitter competition. Mirror, mirror, my card tell me. <laughs> okay guys, so you're wondering, Grace, you already have a paperback of this. Why do you need a hardback? And why were you given one? Well, this one is signed by Cara Delevingne. Cara Delevingne touched this page. I'm just saying. And finally, the last book I have in this haul that was included in that goodie bag was The Language of Foreign. Not the Australian paperback, the hardback, and normally that. Signed by Lee Bardugo. Okay, I need to stop now before I go ballistic. That is gonna be it for this birthday book haul and everything in between book lovers. So you can follow me on my social medias. I'm at Gswizzle of Books on Twitter and Instagram, and I'm also at Goodreads. That's www.goodreads.com slash I love you book lovers, and I will see you later. Peace.